Are you among the millions who find themselves saying, I'll just do it tomorrow only to realize tomorrow becomes never? You're not alone. Procrastination is a common enemy, but it's not unbeatable. Today let us guide you through not just understanding the root causes of procrastination, but also learning how to conquer it with the help of neuroscience. Get ready to say goodbye to, I'll do it tomorrow and hello to, let's do this now. This is your time to take charge and I'm here to give you the tools to make it happen. Let's be real, we've all been there. Staring at a massive project, feeling overwhelmed and paralyzed before even starting. That's your brain's fear response kicking in. But here's the secret. You can outsmart it. How? By breaking down those intimidating tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks. Think of it like climbing a mountain. Trying to tackle the entire thing at once is daunting, right? But focusing on one step at a time makes it feel achievable. It's the same with your goals. Break them down into bite-sized pieces and suddenly that mountain doesn't look so impossible to climb. Every time you complete a small step, your brain releases dopamine, that feel-good hormone associated with rewards. This positive reinforcement creates a powerful feedback loop, making you more likely to keep going. Each small win fuels your motivation, propelling you forward towards your ultimate goal. What's one small step you can take right now to get started? We often hear about the power of visualization, but did you know that there's a specific way to visualize that can actually rewire your brain to beat procrastination? The key is to visualize the process. Imagine yourself actually doing the work, step by step. See yourself sitting at your desk, hands on the keyboard, fully immersed in the task. Feel the focus, the energy, the determination as you move closer to your goal. Studies have shown that this type of visualization activates the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for planning, decision-making, and overriding impulsive behaviors, like procrastination. By mentally rehearsing the work, you're essentially training your brain to make it feel familiar and less daunting. So, close your eyes and create a vivid mental movie of yourself working on that project you've been putting off. Engage all your senses. What do you see, hear, feel? The more detailed your visualization, the more powerful the impact on your brain. Remember, you're not just dreaming about success, you're mentally preparing for it. Have you ever noticed how doing one small thing can create a domino effect, leading you to accomplish more than you thought possible? That's the power of priming your brain. It's like giving your brain a little motivational nudge in the right direction. When you engage in an activity you enjoy, your brain releases dopamine, that feel-good neurotransmitter we talked about earlier. This surge of dopamine doesn't just make you feel good. It also signals to your brain that it's in a reward state, when your brain is in this positive, rewarded state, it's more likely to continue being productive, even when faced with tasks that might normally trigger procrastination. Start your day, or any work session, with a small activity that brings you joy and a sense of accomplishment. By starting your day with a small win, you're setting the tone for a more productive and focused day ahead. Remember, a little bit of joy can go a long way in boosting your brain power and banishing procrastination. Our brains are wired for certainty. When we set vague goals like I'll work on my project later, our brain doesn't get the specific instructions it needs to take action. It's like trying to follow a map with no roads or destinations marked. But when we set specific, well-defined goals, we give our brain a clear roadmap to follow. Instead of saying I'll exercise today, specify what, when, and for how long you'll exercise. For example, I'll go for a 30-minute run at 6 p.m. in the park, this level of specificity activates the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for planning and execution. It's like giving your brain a detailed itinerary, eliminating any guesswork or room for procrastination to creep in. Think about it. When you book a flight, you don't just tell the airline, I want to travel someday. You provide specific dates, times, and destinations. Write down your goals, break them down into actionable steps, and set clear deadlines. Remember, clarity fuels action. We are social creatures by nature. We crave connection, belonging, and the approval of others. And guess what? You can use this to your advantage to beat procrastination. How? By harnessing the power of social accountability. Think about it. Have you ever been more motivated to hit the gym when you have a workout buddy counting on you? 
Or maybe you're more likely to stick to a deadline when you know your colleagues or clients are depending on you. That's social accountability in action. When we share our goals with others and commit to them publicly, we create a sense of obligation and responsibility. Sharing your goals with supportive people can also provide you with encouragement, motivation, and even helpful advice along the way. Find an accountability partner, join a supportive community, or simply share your intentions with a friend or family member. Remember, success is sweeter when it's shared. It's no secret that exercise is good for your body, but did you know that it's also a powerful weapon against procrastination? When you exercise, your brain gets flooded with endorphins, those natural mood boosters that leave you feeling energized and positive. Exercise also increases blood flow to the brain, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen. This increased blood flow has a direct impact on the prefrontal cortex, the area of your brain responsible for executive functions like focus, planning, and impulse control, all essential skills for overcoming procrastination. Exercise stimulates the growth of new brain cells in the hippocampus, the area of the brain responsible for memory and learning. Even a short walk, a quick yoga session, or a few minutes of dancing can make a world of difference in your focus and productivity. Remember, a healthy body equals a happy, procrastination-free brain. In today's fast-paced world, our minds are constantly bombarded with distractions, worries, and to-do lists. It's no wonder that so many of us struggle with procrastination. Our brains are simply overwhelmed. But here's a secret weapon that can help you find your calm amidst the chaos. Mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness is about bringing your attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without getting swept away by them. Meditation, on the other hand, is a practice that cultivates mindfulness. It's like a workout for your brain strengthening the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for executive functions like attention, focus, and self-control. These practices help to tame the amygdala, the part of your brain that triggers the fight-or-flight response, often associated with procrastination-inducing anxiety. When you practice mindfulness and meditation, you're essentially training your brain to stay calm, focused, and in control, even when faced with challenging tasks. Start with just a few minutes each day, focusing on your breath, bodily sensations, or sounds around you. Remember, a calm mind is a clear mind ready to tackle any task. Have you ever stood in front of your closet, overwhelmed by the sheer number of choices, only to end up wearing the same outfit you always do? That's decision fatigue in action, and it's a major culprit behind procrastination. Our brains are wired to handle a certain number of decisions each day. When we're constantly bombarded with choices, big or small, our decision-making capacity gets depleted, making it harder to resist procrastination. The good news is that you can outsmart this decision fatigue by limiting your choices, especially when it comes to your work environment. Create a dedicated workspace that's free from clutter and distractions. Minimize the number of tabs you have open on your computer, put your phone on silent, and let your loved ones know you're in focus mode. By creating a streamlined environment, you free up mental bandwidth and make it easier for your brain to focus on the task at hand. By limiting your choices and creating a distraction-free zone, you're giving your brain the best chance to thrive and avoid procrastination pitfalls. Remember, a clutter-free space equals a clutter-free mind ready to achieve great things. So there you have it. The power to beat procrastination is literally in your hands. In the end, overcoming procrastination isn't about willpower or forcing yourself to do things you hate. It's about understanding your brain and leveraging that knowledge to trick it into being more productive. It's about making your environment and mental state conducive to success. Are you ready to transition from I'll do it tomorrow to let's do this now? Take the first step today. Set a small, specific task from that big project. Complete it and feel the change. You might be surprised by how empowering it feels to finally take control. Start shaping your brain's habits and watch how your life transforms. Let's beat procrastination together once and for all. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.